guys, welcome to the 2017 BMW PGA Championships. It's probably time for a montage. What a day I had at Wentworth, it was it was awesome, it was so good. I had a couple of meetings with a few people and a few friends around there, but to be honest, all I did was pretty much just run around the golf course, looking at loads of people's swings, just getting a, just getting a general feel for the place, and um, yeah, I loved every moment of it. Um, the driving range, I think it's a great place to be, they put a bit of music there, it's very chilled, very relaxed. I thought this would just be for the prime day, but I went there on Friday as well, and the music was still blaring, and I think it just keeps a friendly uh, atmosphere. I think there's a big influence on, um, or emphasis I should say, on trying to make golf a lot more of a... Uh, fun, inviting, uh, and not necessarily as intimidating sport as it possibly could have been. Um, it's a lot more welcoming, um, and I think it's a great day out for even people that don't even play golf. Um, the sun was out, it was lovely, possibly got a bit sunburnt, but never mind. So I spent a lot of time around the practice areas watching people's routines and I thought that was really important just to get a feel for how they try and get themselves ready for a tournament even if this was a prime day but they would be treating this as very serious I know. So the first player I went and had to look was Chelsea. I mean this guy isn't the biggest hitter in the world but my is he like just deadly accurate especially with the short game mm -hmm. wedges. Mm -hmm. He's very much a Luke Donald-esque kind of player I would say. And um, yeah, so this was a par five here. I believe this was the fifth par five. And uh, yeah, you can see that he's just left it to right side. And watch this chip. He literally just fluffs it up into the air. You can see how quick the greens are and you need these kind of shots. And this is something that I really lack. Throughout the whole day that I watched, um, uh, this is Kiros now. The whole day that I watched around there is that they just made it look so much more effortless like there's no stress you're putting chip shots with inside a foot of the flag two foot of the flag tap in you're not leaving yourself constant five six seven foot putts again this wedge shot from Kiros oh, go in. zipping back okay now you've got a Ooh. great chance um for birdie it made it just it made it very simple they made the game look very simple and i know i can hit these kind of shots but obviously not to the same consistency as they can and that's where the practice and the grinding comes from Cole to really impress me um, just his general uh, persona, very smooth, very slow, takes his time, meticulous, um, really good player to watch. Um, and again, this was off the first, so it was actually a relatively long par um, four. It's actually no wind on the day at all, really, um, but I think it was just slightly into. But here, I should give you this whole clip because he's walked all the way around his putt. His playing partners have obviously um, just finished, and he just takes his time. He's just—he's not rushing himself. He's keeping himself very much within um, himself, thinking about his part, thinking about what he needs to do. Not really caring that anything's going on. And I think that's a big part of my game. I miss—I'm very um, aware of my surroundings and what's going on around me, and very conscious of the fact. Um, whereas really, I need 100% focus on my game. Um, and yeah, again, you can see how light the greens are. They're so quick. Victor, what a player. Again, really nice guy to watch. And sorry for the awful camera work. Sky Sports, if you want to hit me up, then uh, get in contact. There you go. You, if you want a bit of that action, then you know where to find me. Again, he's a great pass shot up the hill here. I think this is the one where you can get hole-in-one prize for the M4. 
But again, you can see how much he's aiming to the right-hand side, how much break there is on the putts. Um, and again, on the practice screen, everyone had like stint readers, screen readers, see how fast the greens are. Unfortunately, these guys did not realise the YouTube mission that I was on for the day and decided just to walk in front of me. But I guess they're playing and I'm not, so they probably had more of a reason to have a look at the line of putts. Then quite up with Alexander Levy. Again, um, I mean, everyone I watch, I mean, they're there for a reason at the end of the day, guys. Um, but it's just very good to see how, because some people just walk up and hit it. Um, like uh, Andy Sullivan, for me, just has to go, walks up to the ball and then hits it. And then some will have like a really long pre-shot routine. Um, so it's just good to see a general how people can make it work for themselves. They've all got different swings, they've all got different techniques. Um, but they've all got something in common. And it's just a short game, a short game. Now this is cult starts here that I picked up with. Again, this chip shot, just within oh, gimme range for them, do you know what I mean? And it's just, it's so much work I need to put in to give myself that, to relieve the stress so that if I do just bump off the grin, I'm not thinking, oh no, I need to get up and down from it. It should be right, how am I gonna hold this chip shot? I think he's got a great swing. I think he's got a great mentality. Um, and he's hit this shot, he's cut it around the thing, he's basically landing it in that guy's pint around the corner. And um, yeah, the par five now, unfortunately, he goes for the green here, which obviously you definitely should be attacking this par five, but it's so tight, you'll turn around here. I didn't quite get it, but if you watch the ripples on the left of the water, unfortunately, he just caught it a bit left and it's gone in the water, but it's pro-am day, so I'm sure he didn't really mind that much. Par three, I caught up with him as well, this is on the second. Again, he's hit a cracking shot into here. Such a tough, it's only like 160 to the flag, something like that. But if you miss the green, you've got a well, you've got such a difficult chance of making par here. And again, you can see how he leans out, trying to lock those arms, lock those shoulders, and it's just rotation the arms. And that's something I really want to find in my putting stroke. Um, I caught up with Lee here, and again, he's hit a miraculous wedge shot from here. Out the rough, he's pitched that just over the bunker. You can't do better than that. What you hit there, you just can't do better than that. Again, it just shows the level of their short game. Andy Sullivan here. Again, this was approaching to the par five. I've basically gone round two. I'm walking around the 18 again. And again, he's just left this slightly short of the green, as you'll see here. And he's got a nice little chip shot. Well, for him, it's a nice little chip shot, whereas I probably would have left that about eight foot past the hole, if not more. So, yeah, for me, I'm walking away from today. Oh, and then caught up with good old Luke Donald, again, a master of the wedge play. I'm just walking away from today. I loved it. I've got a load of motivation. There's the tee balls. Don't get me wrong. They hit great tee shots, but I've played with guys that can hit tee shots like that. I can hit tee shots like that. Yes, I need to work on the consistency, and yes, it can get better. However, I walked away from it just looking at the short game going, you know what, I need to be spending all my focus and time on that because that's really what makes a difference in this game. And guys, that is a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've had such a great day here. Long, a lot of walking. I saw some great golf, and I definitely feel like I've learned a lot. But yeah, back here Friday, I'm going to enjoy myself, bring my parents, they've never been to a golf event like this before, so I'm going to bring them, they're going to really enjoy it, so I'm going to obviously get to see a lot more of that, but no cameras allowed. So I might see a few of you there, guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up, as always please subscribe and I'll catch you guys later.